So we start with the TNS 50. These are 50 of the largest uh, traditional tech companies been around for a while, hardware companies, software companies, pure service companies. We started this index. It's like a Dow Jones index, and it's there to help us understand how uh, the technology sector is performing. This is the public data. I just have to remind everybody, we can look at product versus service revenues. We can look at blended product margins, service margins blended uh, to get to any more detail, which people always like to ask, you know, oh, is that margin, is that support versus professional services or what is that? To get to that, you have to benchmark with somebody like TSIA. That's not in the public domain. Okay, let's look at the results here. So looking at revenue capture here, um, you, you can see, um, you know, quarter compared to the uh, previous year in, in the yellow there and the blue. So, so there's still growth in the system hardware companies, 3.9% quarter to quarter, um, which is, which is fantastic. And software companies, um, you know, the 4.4%. It's good to see that, you know, we have growth above the line here. Uh, that's important as we go into this, this current economic environment and everyone's kind of wondering what's going to be happening happening over 70% of the companies did have overall revenue that was up. That's fantastic. If you look at where that revenue was up, vast majority of companies had service revenues up. Uh, only 45% of the companies had product revenues up. So again, we did, we've shown this chart quarter after quarter, uh, more of the growth continues to come from the service lines for, for these companies in the TNS 50. You look at the pure service companies, a lot of green here. So there's a lot of activity out there in terms of these large uh, system integrators, um, working with companies, um, net operating incomes, really solid. There was a day, uh, you know, when we were tracking these, these pure service companies when their net operating incomes were like on average four, five percent. I mean, these firms have really, you know, figured out how to put their foot on the gas on not only you know, growth, but that, you know, that net operating income is, is something that, you know, many SaaS companies, hardware companies would be would be envious of. And that's a labor intensive business historically. So that's pretty interesting. Speaking of the hardware companies, um, again, overall, 8 percent growth, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, product uh, revenues on average, 3 percent growth you can still see a lot of double digit decline on the product revenue trend column. Service revenue trends on average, 9 percent growth. Uh, some double-digit growth there. Look at something like Fortinet, Fortinet um, you know, Ericsson. So big uh, leaps and bounds on service revenues. Operating incomes, a little bit of a wash there on average 13%, um, but in terms of growth on average 1% better. And here's the trends for the hardware company. So this is uh, an encouraging trend here where the gross margins for both services and products improved. Uh, this is a theme that you're going to see as companies have become incredibly cost conscious. Uh, this is, you know, absolutely the lever that, you know, companies are pulling to improve um, these margins. It's not that their, you know, expenses went down per se. Uh, this is really about managing costs. Um, and you can see that in, in terms of the average sg line starting to trend down, the R&D line, you know, keeping that under control. These hardware companies are managing expenses so that they can protect that operating income on the left-hand side. Software companies, uh, product revenues continue to decline traditional license. It's all about the service revenue growth. You can see there on average 11%, a lot of green. Everybody's green on the service revenue trends. That includes their SaaS. Operating incomes on average 20%, down just a little bit for the software companies. Uh, and here's their trends. And so this is interesting. You can see this margin pressure um, down a little bit on average, 68% on the service side. Interestingly, 68% is pretty much the average gross margin we've seen for the board and cloud SaaS companies. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So the, you know, the service revenue lines for traditional software companies include SaaS now. So that's starting to look you know, a lot more like a SaaS margin profile. And then you look at what these software companies are doing on expenses. Look at how they are driving down SG&A. So again, they can protect that operating income of roughly 20%. R&D trending up a little bit. And these, again, are software companies that have legacy systems they're supporting, plus they're standing up a lot of the new SaaS stuff. So some R&D activity for sure. 
we look at total spending, this is um, actually a super <laughs> exciting chart here because for the first time in a long time, all the way back to 2008, the, the total revenue represented by TNS 50 um, has a new high, right? We've, we've got gotten over this 246 you know, billion dollar uh, cap that we had back in 2008. So we've dug ourselves out of this trough in terms of total revenue. That is very exciting. Um, and of course, this is the trend that also is is stunning to to many companies. Where's where's this revenue coming from? The service line just keeps going up and up. Look at Q4 2014, and you can see where these two lines crossed over. Right, the blue line representing service revenues went higher than the product line. And I remember talking to to many uh, technology leaders, and they they would ask me, "Well, you think this is kind of temporary?" That you know the product line will shoot back up, and I said, "No, no, I don't think so." And uh, if anybody thinks this is a temporary trend, um, send me an email, and, and we'll, we got to spend some time on the phone because this is not a temporary trend. Now, there really are some encouraging trends here. So, software companies protecting their profitability twenty percent—that's solid profitability. Hardware companies improving their service margins, improving their product margins, protecting profitability. Overall product revenues uh, increasing, service revenues increasing, and we had this you know new high in terms of co- total quarterly revenue. So in Q1, you know traditional tech companies didn't hit some kind of ugly wall in terms of, of demand. So that is very exciting, very encouraging. 